the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 256, Ezekiel 42-41 Ezekiel's sketch of the new temple. Through the vision of the temple being rebuilt, the people of Israel came to realize the wonderful plan that God had in order to restore them. First point, the vision of the new Jerusalem temple which God showed Ezekiel was the conclusion to Ezekiel's records and ultimately the height of Israel's restoration. When the people of South Judah who were already in Babylon as captives heard the news that Jerusalem had completely collapsed, they gave up hope of ever returning. However, thankfully, they learned that they would be able to return after 70 years and that the time in Babylon symbolized punishment, education, Sabbath, and the lifespan of the Babylonian Empire. Thus, unlike other captives from other countries who gave up on their national identities, the people of South Judah, who were called the Jews by the Babylonians, lived with hope and improved themselves there. There was, however, one thing that pained them. They knew that they had to stay in Babylon for 70 years, and that in 70 years, the Babylonian Empire would come to an end. But their temple had burned down, and God's dwelling place no longer existed. To be frank, before the temple had burned down, it was not as if they had used it well or kept the annual festivals of the kingdom of priests. That was the ultimate reason as to why they were taken to Babylon as captives in the first place. But now they sincerely missed the Jerusalem temple. They were no longer able to keep the annual festivals even if they wanted to. They were forced into doing labor, commanded by the Babylonian Empire. Only at this point did the people wish to keep the annual festivals of the kingdom of priests and only at this point did the people realize that the festivals were a gift given to them by God. They also came to realize how blessed it was to be able to go to God's temple and make their offerings. When the people started to miss the temple during the 10th fifth year, since the second group of captives had been taken to Babylon, so the 14th year since the burning down of the Jerusalem temple. God showed Ezekiel the vision of the reconstructed temple and thus gave the people hope. Second point, God showed Ezekiel the exact logistics behind the new Jerusalem temple and told Ezekiel to tell this to the South Judah captives who were in Babylon. God showed Ezekiel the vision of the restored Jerusalem temple. In God's vision, Ezekiel saw a man whose appearance was like bronze, standing in the gateway with a linen coat and a measuring rod in his hand. God told Ezekiel to pay attention to everything that he was shown and to repeat everything that he saw. During that time, the people of South Judah were far from their homeland and living a hard life in Babylon as captives. Hence, God showed them through Ezekiel how they would indeed be restored and how Jerusalem would relive its glory days. This was God's great love for them. Third point, Ezekiel, who was well-educated and skilled as a priest and prophet, was told by God to sketch out the restored Jerusalem temple. God first showed Ezekiel the vision of the outside of the new Jerusalem temple. The vision was as follows. Ezekiel was shown a wall completely surrounding the temple area with the length of the measuring rod in the man's hands that was six cubits long. 
Then Ezekiel was taken to the east gate, where he was to climb its steps and measure the threshold of the gate, which was one rod deep. Through this east gate, God's glory shone through. Next day, Ezekiel was shown the outer court, followed by the north gate, then the south gate. God then showed Ezekiel the three gates to the inner court. The annexed buildings included rooms for preparing sacrifices and rooms for the priestess. God showed Ezekiel the details within the temple, including all the rooms and their purposes. As such, God showed Ezekiel the outer area of the temple first, including all its doors and gates, and then moved on to the inner areas. God also showed the separate room of the priestess, as the priestess were mediators between God and the people. They were given a special area whereby they could prepare and last. This was God showing the people that he would meet with them. Lastly, God showed the portico of the temple. First point, the new sketch of the Jerusalem temple symbolized the coming of Jesus Christ. God continued to show Ezekiel the vision of the main hall, holy place, and the most holy place. Ezekiel was taken by God's angel to the holy place and then into the most holy place alone. This was because the most holy place was only permitted for the high priest. The design of the temple shown by God symbolized the temple of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. The missing items in the temple God showed to Ezekiel was firstly the curtain, and this was because the curtain was to be ripped in half by Jesus. The second was the bread, as Jesus was to become the bread of life. The third was the light stand, as Jesus is the light of the world. The fourth was the ark, as Jesus completed the covenant. As such, Ezekiel was shown around the new temple guided by God's angel. The holy place and the most holy place were a symbol of God's love and forgiveness. Although the people disobeyed God and worshipped idols, God nevertheless promised to forgive and to restore them. Fifth point, Ezekiel's sketch of the new temple became the most valuable and important record for the returned captives. God showed Ezekiel the walls of the temple. The measurements were to be six cubits thick, and each side of the room around the temple was to be four cubits wide. The side rooms were on three levels, one above the other, with thirty on each level. God continued to show Ezekiel the vision of the buildings facing the temple courtyard. Ezekiel recorded his visions in detail. The records of Ezekiel were used after the fall of Babylon and when the people were able to return to Jerusalem. Ezekiel carefully recorded the height and width of even the wooden altars. But something we can learn is that the new design of the altars was comparably bigger than the design God originally gave in Exodus chapters 25 and 37. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.